When it comes to index investing, most people think of Vanguard funds. John Bogle, the originator of index funds, fundamentally invented the concept of passive investing in the 1970s and made index funds available to the general public. On the other hand, actively managed funds deserve the same treatment as passive ones. A quote-unquote fee hurdle is one of the main roadblocks to actively manage mutual funds and ETFs. Active funds have been more expensive to run than index funds in the past. As a result, to provide investors with a profit, an actively managed fund needs to earn more than its fees. Thus, when an investment outperforms its benchmark, more significant costs frequently result in poorer returns. On the other hand, low-cost investment management runs deep in the veins of Vanguard. Consequently, Vanguard's active funds have the exact low costs as its passive choices. In this way, many of its active funds can mitigate the fee obstacles and investors may benefit from active management at reduced prices. We prepared a list of five Vanguard active funds to consider buying in 2022. Any investor may find a low-cost fund that matches their objectives. So which funds will be good for you? Number 1. Vanguard Selected Value Fund In the realm of small stocks, active management can outperform passive management. Large investment firms, analysts, and institutional investors often overlook small and mid-cap stocks. As a result, clever managers may take advantage of several pricing inefficiencies. This is especially true when it comes to value stocks. One fund that has taken advantage of this aspect is the Vanguard Selected Fund VASVX, currently at $30.05. Market capitalizations between $2 billion and $10 billion are the main focus of VASVX. The fundamental analysis identifies undervalued and out-of-favor companies selling at below average levels for financial indicators like profits or book value. The result is a two-for-one success punch. Now, against the Russell Midcap Value Index, the fund's returns swing through cycles of solid outperformance and mild underperformance. Despite this, over the past year and three years, returns have outperformed those of the underlying benchmarks by 2.7% and 1.9% respectively. Only 127 companies make up the Vanguard Selected Value Fund, which has a high concentration. For comparison, the standard is approximately 700. Gildan Activewear, GIL, and Unum are two of VASVX's biggest holdings. The Vanguard Selected Value Fund, one of Vanguard's actively managed funds, has exceptional near-term performance and a low 0.32% cost ratio. This is why it might perform well in 2022. Number 2. Vanguard Short-Term Investment Grade Fund Investor Shares Active management may outperform passive index funds in fixed income. Why? In most bond indexes, the small amount of debt is given the most priority. That defies logic. Various tools are available to active managers to find the best bargains on undervalued bonds. Vanguard Short-Term Investment Grade Fund Investor Shares VFSTX, which is currently at $10.27, is a member of a selection of high-quality, low-cost mutual funds. Short-term and intermediate-term investment grade fixed income assets are the focus of VFSTX. Treasury bonds and corporate securities are examples of this. Compared to the Bloomberg Barclays US 1-5 Year Credit Index, the bond fund does better since it is more overweight in corporate bonds than in treasury securities. What does it accomplish? As an initial benefit, the Vanguard Short-Term Bond Index Fund Admiral Shares earns a greater yield of 2.1% than the index tracking sister fund VBIRX. Even so, it's a somewhat different kind of metric to use. Second, it is less volatile than the more extensive short-term bond index regarding the total price movement. That's because of the manager's credit analysis. Combining the two results in a solid cash-like fund that can support a portfolio's overall performance. The Vanguard Short-Term Investment Grade Fund Investor Shares will be better equipped to withstand rises in interest rates than longer-dated funds because of their short duration, and that's why this should be one of your choices in 2022. VFSTX is a low-cost, actively managed fixed-income Vanguard fund with an expense ratio of around 0.20%. Number 3. Vanguard Tax-Managed Balance Fund Admiral Shares before contemplating a taxable investment account, many financial planners recommend filing your IRAs and other tax-free and tax-deferred vehicles. On the other hand, a taxable accounts can be managed rather effectively these days, and having one has several advantages for investors. Vanguard's Tax Managed Balance Fund Admiral Shares VTMFX, which is currently at $40, gives you your cake and the ability to eat it too. VTMFX is a well-balanced fund with a 50-50 allocation between equities and bonds. 
Most, at least 75% of the municipal bonds in this bond sleeve have top credit ratings, and their dollar-weighted average term ranges from 6 to 12 years. There are no federal, state, or municipal taxes imposed on munis, dividends, or distributions. The fund will only contain stocks from the Russell 1000 index that pay eligible dividends or none on the stock side. Apple, AAPL, and Microsoft MSFT are the company's largest holdings. In addition, the fund's management is buying and holding devotees with a turnover rate of under 20%. Long-term stock ownership reduces one's taxable income. Municipal bonds and buy-and-hold investments have generated some solid returns. VTMFX has generated an annualized total return of 7.8% since its start in 1994 through the 28th of February. That's not bad at all, considering that half of the fund is invested in municipal bonds. The fund's 0.09% cost ratio is also a boon to investors. The fund's hefty initial investment requirement is a drawback. Your investment in VTMFX will need an investment of $10,000. In contrast, if you work with a financial advisor from Vanguard, you don't have to meet the investment minimum. For all Vanguard funds, this is true, but you must invest a minimum of $50,000 in engaging with an advisor. Number 4. Vanguard International Growth Fund Investor Shares You can easily access and investigate information about Apple and Coca-Cola if you are a U.S.-based investor. But what about Caring SA, PPRUY, the French luxury goods company? Not really. Because of this, we tend to overlook abroad chances and fall into a hometown prejudice. The use of experts and active management may significantly impact a portfolio's opportunity sets and results in 2022. An excellent international fund is the Vanguard International Growth Fund Investor Shares VWIGX, which is currently at $37.25 and invests in a wide range of equities from developed and emerging markets of varying sizes. Bailey Gifford and Schroeder are the fund's advisors, both of whom have extensive investment management experience. In the case of VWIGX, Bailey Gifford prefers firms with long-term profitability and free cash flow growth, whereas Schroeder prefers growth equities that are more reasonably priced. This portfolio has strong growth and value equities because of the dual mission. There's also a lot of focus. Only 121 of the fund's over $59 billion in assets are held in the form of shares in the company. This has resulted in superior long-term and intermediate-term returns for the clients. For example, VWIGX has averaged an annual return of 10.5% during the last decade. This is one case in which an active index performs superior. The fund's low expense ratio of 0.44% also contributes to its success. That's why VWIGX might be great in your portfolio. One of the greatest Vanguard actively managed funds to acquire exposure to international stocks is VWIGX. Number 5. Vanguard Prime Cap Fund Admiral Shares VP Max Vanguard Prime Cap Fund Admirable Shares is the company's flagship active mutual fund. VP Max is currently at $160.43. Since its inception in 2001, VP Max has generated an annualized return of 11.2%, making it one of the best performing active stock funds in history. Over the past decade, that return has outperformed the S&P 500 by more than 2 percentage points per year. The fund's strategy is the key ingredient. VP Max is interested in GARP equities, which stand for growth at a fair price. Growth and value investment are combined here with managers seeking substantial revenue and profit growth while spending as little as possible. GARP is a challenging methodology to execute, but when done correctly, as prime cap managers do, it may deliver impressive portfolio returns. Since it has $69 billion in assets, VP Max has a very concentrated portfolio of just 161 mid and large cap firms. S&P Global Market Intelligence expects earnings per share growth in the double digits for both medicine company Ali Lilly LLY, and creative cloud giant Adobe ADBE over the following years. As a side note, the Vanguard Prime Cap Fund admirable shares are temporarily closed to new investors not registered in Vanguard flagship services or personal advisor services. However, its sister fund, VPMCX, is still featured in many 401k retirement plans. That's all from this video. Which Vanguard index do you find more suitable? Make sure to leave a comment and share this video with others. See you in the next one!